Good morning, good morning. I hope everybody's well. Uh, my name's uh, Alex Connell and I'm one of the roving chefs that works for Vegetarian uh, for Life. Now, week beginning the 10th of May, so not next week, the week after, it's National Vegetarian Week uh, and that provides a great excuse uh, for, as a springboard for some uh, activities that you may want to run if you're if you're involved with um, uh, a care home, if you're a, a caterer or a, an activities school coordinator or, or a manager. Now there's loads of different things that you might want to uh, do around vegetarianism. Uh, have a look on our website, I'm going to point you in that direction. There's lots of uh, suggestions on there, we've got a blog with uh, different sort of ideas. But um, why, why not um, think about uh, perhaps having a barbecue uh, as, a, as, as an activity. Now today I was going to be in the garden, I was going to be cooking for you outside, but it's kind of quite blustery out there, so I wanted to make sure that you could hear me properly. So I brought my my barbecue indoors, which is of course something that uh, you might have to do uh, if it's uh, if it's wet on the day that you plan to to have your barbecue. So. Uh, a veggie barbecue, a vegetarian or a vegan barbecue. Now, if you're uh, into barbecues uh, and you make them um, or have them regularly, you'll be familiar with doing lots of uh, alternatives uh, to, to, to meat. Uh, but if you're not, then do watch because uh, I've got some great tips uh, to, to make your vegan and vegetarian barbecues uh, really uh, delightful and, and sort of give everyone uh, a lot of choice. So. This morning, um, I'm going to show you how to make, I'm going to show you lots of different things, but I'm going to show you how to make a black bean burger. Now, you don't need to write down the, uh, the ingredients with this. The recipe for this is on our website. Uh, there's a, quite a few nice other uh, recipes that you can use uh, on, on with your barbecue on there as well. So have a, have a look at that. But this recipe is for a black bean burger. Now, there are lots of pre-made vegetarian and vegan products uh, you can get uh, from your uh, suppliers, uh, Bid Foods or Bread or, or any of the others, um, have, a, have a look um, and they're getting very good at labelling um, uh, which products are, are vegetarian and which ones are, are vegan. So, so do have a look at your supplier because I'm sure that if you've not looked recently, uh, they may well have improved or increased their range. And if you're, if you're not and you're going to do sort of a little bit of uh, small scale shopping uh, down the supermarket, do have a look because uh, most supermarkets these days have got a whole range of different sorts of uh, products that are great for the barbecue, which are vegetarian and vegan. And I'll come to those uh, a little bit later, but a little bit of home cooking. Now this is this is our recipe. It's a, it's a black bean uh, burger. So I hope you can see uh, my ingredients in front of me. I'm just going to whiz through these and I'll show you how to make them. So it's a black bean burger. So we're going to start off with some with some black beans. Now um, these um, are tinned. Uh, you can actually use any sort of pulse, but the, the black beans just add a little bit of extra colour uh, to, to, your, to your burger. But you could use uh, any any sort of tin pulse would, would work uh, fine with that. So what I've done with this is just because it makes a racket with the with the blender, I've pre-processed these. So I've just got my stick blender and I've just given them a, a quick blend to make, turn them into a, a sort of like a sticky patty. But I actually reserved uh, a few of the beans. I don't know if you can see these uh, on the top, and I've just like uh, chop them up and I've just put them on the top. Now the reason for that is um, the, 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 the pulse, the, the pureed uh, bean will, will help uh, to stick everything together but the, uh, the little chunky bits just give it a little bit of, um, a little bit of texture um, so, so, so that's why I've done that. Um, now uh, onions, um, now most of this needs to be pre-cooked before you start so I have, uh, I've got uh, an onion here which I've, as you can see I've cooked it quite well, I want to give it a nice bit of flavour so whole onion in here and also uh, a good amount of garlic and the garlic towards the end uh, so the garlic didn't burn. So that's uh, pre-done. Also got some rice. Now uh, in the recipe um, it says uh, 150 grams of brown cooked rice. Of course you have a little bit of a guesswork to know how much to put in uh, to know that you'll get exactly 150 grams uh, when it's cooked because obviously different rices uh, will absorb uh, different amounts of water. But it's about 70, thereabouts, about 70. Uh, now you can use white rices which is, which is what I've got here. So I've got some pre-cooked uh, rice over here. I've also got some flour. Now, this is ordinary um, ordinary flour, plain flour. Now, this will help to stick everything together. Um, but if you want to make this gluten-free, uh, you can do, of course, um, but obviously use gluten-free flour. Alternatively, if you want to add an extra bit of protein um, to this, if you use gram flour, 
Um, that will help to stick everything together, uh, but it's also going to add an extra bit of uh, protein uh, to your to your burger. So uh, something to, to think about. Now, the next ingredient, just whiz through these quickly. The next ingredient uh, are some chopped nuts. Now, I've um, got uh, a mix here of pecans and uh, walnuts. The recipe, is, the recipe says walnuts. You can, of course, use any sorts of uh, nuts uh, that, you, that you like. Now, I quite like a bit of texture in my bird. I'm going to be eating these a little bit later. So um, I've chopped these up fairly roughly, but depending on who you're catering for, you may want to uh, chop these up uh, a lot uh, finer uh, if, it, if, it's, if people are having issues with, with the chewing. Uh, so uh, you may want to chop those up a little bit finer or even uh, grind it into, in, into a powder um, so that uh, people, you know, people can uh, chew that a little bit easier. But it, you know, it, it's up to you. Okay, a couple of extra things and I'll whistle and I'll start assembling this. Um, now, this is quite uh, an interesting thing to, to, to include. Um, this is um, flax uh, egg. Okay, so this is ground flax seed, and I've added some water to it. It's called flax egg. It's nothing to do with eggs. But what happens is you when you add a little bit of... Uh, hot or warm water to flax seeds, you get a, a, a sort of sticky resin. It's a bit like wallpaper paste. It's a bit, a bit sticky, um, and that helps to bind things together. So if you're catering and you want to get that sort of sticky texture, then I would recommend uh, using uh, some of that. If you're also doing gluten-free uh, products, then uh, that can also help to stick stuff together um, because uh, obviously um, it, it, there's no gluten in there, and without the gluten uh, in, in uh, flour or whatever, things may not want to stick together. And if you're also not going to use eggs as well. So that's quite a, quite a handy thing to have. So uh, it's just in this recipe, but it's in a few of the recipes we've got on our website. So uh, have a look at those. Now, quick, 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 um, spices. Now, all of these ingredients here have got uh, a subtle flavor, but they're not, you know, they're big punches. So you want to add some, some extra uh, spice to this. Now, I've got some cumin, my favorite spice for it's a nice aromatic spice. I've got a good teaspoon of, of cumin. And I've also got some chili uh, powder here. You can also put uh, smoked paprika in there indeed, and that'll give your uh, burger a nice smoky flavor. Um, and I've got some salt and I've got some pepper. And I've also got some mixed herbs. Now you can play around with that um, and, and create uh, the different, different sorts of flavors, whatever you like, whatever you've got in your stock cupboard, uh, have a look. But you do need to add uh, some of this into it. You can put fresh herbs in there as well. Uh, basil's great, uh, you could do that. Now, one last ingredient to put into uh, the burger um, is some uh, barbecue sauce. Now you can use any sort of generic uh, barbecue sauce. You could use uh, tomato sauce, Sauce, you could use uh, brown sauce, uh, and it just adds an extra bit of flavor. Now, um, most are, but always check on the label that if you're catering for, for a vegan, that the product that you're putting in, these extra little squirts of things, are in fact vegan. Now, most products these days do clearly label, so do look out uh, for that. But if you were making something that was gluten-free, if that was your, your thing, and you were going to use the ground flour particularly, um, then do check with the sources. Can some of the brands use uh, flour to, to thicken? So uh, have a look out for that. Now, I've got some other bits in here, which I'm going to come to later. These are the kind of like the garnishes to do with uh, making your uh, burger uh, tasty and, and give a bit of texture. So all we're going to do now is I'm just going to whiz this around here. And I'm going to bring my, my bowl up here, uh, and then I'm going to uh, uh, start to bring everything together. But it really is a, a quite straightforward process. So in we go uh, with, our, with our beans. So these are the, the, the black beans. And we've got our cooked uh, onions in the go. And you're going to have to get your hands in here in a minute. So it's a little bit, a little bit messy. You've got the cooked rice. That's 150 grams of cooked rice. And we go with that. And we have our chopped uh, walnuts in there. I've got a few pecans in there as well, so I like those. Uh, and our flaxseed um, can go in there. So I'm just going to get a, a little bit of a stir so that we uh, make sure that all the, all the uh, flax is, is uh, mixed up and gets distributed evenly. And that's, as I say, it's going to help stick uh, things together. In we go with that. All our little spices, so that's the cumin and the chili and the mixed uh, herbs, a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. And of course, we have our uh, barbecue sauce. And we go with that, lovely. So all we do is just give this a, a bit of a stir together. And we're gonna add the flour as well, which will help to 
bind everything together. What I tend to do is, is eight um, tablespoons of, uh, of flour, but what I tend to do, not to put it all in at once, um, uh, just to sort of see how you go. You probably have most of it in, but uh, just sort of check uh, as you go. So as I say, it's National Vegetarian Week, week beginning the 10th uh, of May till, until the 17th of May. So there's lots of different sorts of activities that you might want to do to use that as a backdrop, if you like, uh, for, for, for activities uh, in, the, in the home that you, you work for or for the people that you cater for or care for. So you might want to have a barbecue, which is kind of what I'm talking about today. You might want to have a, a veggie picnic. You could use it as a theme for a reminiscence of, of, of dishes that people used to have in the past. Um, you might want to have a, a, a taste taster session, uh, trying new products, all sorts of things. Or you may want to do, and I do encourage you to do this, um, I'm part of a team of, uh, of chefs and um, we've been over the past uh, year doing virtual uh, cookery demonstrations because obviously because of the COVID restrictions. But why not invite one of our chefs uh, into your care home uh, when you're allowed to do so and we can do a one-to-one -one, uh, uh, session uh, so it gives you it takes a little bit of pressure off your uh, chefs uh, and uh, a bit of entertainment uh, for your for your residents or um, do a uh, an online live uh, session um, so uh, you know to get in touch with uh, uh, vegetarian for life uh, and we'll be able to hopefully uh, coordinate something with one of our team of chefs we've got chefs in uh, in Scotland and then Birmingham and, and London and now in um, uh, in Manchester but of course it's online it doesn't really matter where we are because we can just do it uh, over over the wires okay so uh, a little bit of flour so I'm going to add about half of this to begin with and then I'm going to give it a bit of a stir uh, and see how it is now the great thing about this uh, recipe is um, you can obviously chop and change uh, as you wish um, uh, and add other ingredients uh, to suit the uh, uh, the needs and, and the tastes of the people that you're you're catering for um, you know you can use seasonal ingredients in there you can put mushrooms in there do a fine chopped up mushrooms if, if you like it and in doing so that's just going to add a little bit of extra um, uh, moisture in, into the uh, into the burger. Now these burgers um, uh, have also got quite a lot of protein in them, which is uh, quite a handy thing to do. Uh, that's all you know. It's got all natural stuff in here. It's not um, sort of highly processed uh, foods, which are, are creeping in uh, in the supermarkets. But uh, there we go. And you can see, hopefully, and I'm so stressing on my face. Uh, it is quite sticky, and you want it to be sticky because you want it to hold together now you can add a little bit of oil in here if you want and then uh, when you cook it that's just going to help it to, 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 to cook but it also makes it a little bit easier uh, as a mouthfeel as well so you, you might want to do that but there's there's quite a lot of calories in here already with the uh, uh, with the uh, nuts but if you just want to get some extra calories in there by adding the, the oil in there then you're going to get some some more in there as well now this recipe uh, will make three very large burgers but to be honest uh, I think you can get four quite good sized burgers out of this um, or even more if you make, want to make them uh, slightly smaller that is about right you see how how sticky it is and uh, how, it, how it holds together that's exactly uh, what you want to do so I'm just going to move this out of the way for one moment and then bring my little tray over here so my hands get a bit, uh, bit messy. So get your hands in here, and then just start to shape uh, a nice, uh, a nice uh, patty. So what you want to do is, when when you've done this, um, shaped into a into a patty, uh, then you should pop this into the into the fridge and let this chill uh, for an hour. You can of course just skip straight away onto um, uh, onto cooking, but it just helps to hold the, the the burger together if you do pop it into the fridge. And you can see hopefully. How easily uh, this has uh, this has come together uh, like so. So I'm not going to make all these up now. Just do one more, uh, and then we'll get on with a bit of uh, a bit of cooking. Now you can freeze this mixture as well, um, um, which is quite handy because it you know it makes quite a, quite a lot of uh, mixture. Um, so if you want to have this for uh, uh, you know over a, a number of uh, occasions, then you've got that already uh, already done, uh, ready to go. So there we have our lovely, uh, lovely uh, black bean burger. So I'm just going to set this to one side and then pop these 
over there. I need my hands a bit of a, a bit of a wipe, and then just a bit of a tidy down. Lovely. Now my, my cook is just going to uh, beep and buzz uh, as I switch things on. So I made some um, this morning, um, and uh, and I've had them in the in the fridge just uh, just uh, just chilling away. Um, so uh, let's get those out and we can uh, start to cook them. Excuse for turning my back. In we go into our fridge. So there we have um, our veggie burgers. Uh, ready, uh, ready to cook. Uh, so I'm going to start those uh, cooking, uh, and I'm going to talk about some other products uh, that you can buy uh, from uh, your uh, local supermarket or even um, your your supplier. So let's get these on uh, together. Now these are going to beep, so I do apologise about the, the extra bit of uh, noise on there. Let's get these the right temperatures. There we go, lovely. Right, okay, so a splash of oil in, in that one, and then we can pop our little veggie burgers um, on there, and they will just gently cook away. Now, um, one, one little sort of um, thing to, to think about is whether your veggie burgers um, will actually sit onto the griddle of the um, of your barbecue so you can cook outside which uh, hopefully you will be if the, if the weather's good um, some products are a little bit softer than others now this one here uh, at the moment are a little bit soft uh, it will cook beautifully in the pan here but if you were to pop this onto your your griddle here um, sort of standard sort of thing what can happen is that as it's uh, quite soft at the moment it'll end up just sort of sinking in a little bit so what I would do is either if you've got a, a flat um, griddle uh, for, your, for your barbecue then cook those on that or just pre-cook them so they've got a little bit of uh, crust on these and then just finish them off on the um, on, on the griddle here so they don't sit through but they can be I mean they're quite firm but they just need that extra bit of bit, bit of care so just to just sort of uh, be, be, be warned uh, with that okay so what other things can you cook uh, on your veggie barbecue. Well, I've got all sorts of little tasties over here that you may want to may want to have. So there's a whole range of, of different sorts of uh, veggie uh, sausages and burgers. But you also may want to go down the route of having something uh, that is uh, less processed. Now, some vegetarians and vegans like this sort of like faux meat, this sort of fake meat, if you like. But many um, also prefer and kind of more natural sort of vegetable based products so when you're catering for someone um, you know always ask um, what they you know what they like to eat uh, before you start to make it because obviously you're going to time and you're going to expense before and you don't want to waste money and time but you talk to other people that you cater for to see what sorts of uh, veggie burgers and products they like okay so let's get some of these uh, into our into our frying pan and we can uh, Enjoy that. Looking good. A little bit of oil in our second pan. And I've got some veggie sausages here. Um, so these are these are vegan ones, and these really are quite quite meaty uh, in in terms of texture. So do be aware that not all vegetarians uh, like this sort of thing. But you might find that. Uh, meat eating uh, residents to be careful really uh, do enjoy them. The whole range, they do, do have a look. Let's get that one in there as well. Now, but you can also buy, put that down, so we're juggling at, you can also buy um, uh, burgers that are, have got less processed uh, products in them. So, um, ones that are kind of, uh, sort of vegetables that are uh, squashed together with pulses. Uh, and, and that's what this this type of, of burger is here. So for those that don't like that sort of fake, fake uh, meat, then this would be uh, the one uh, to go for. Let's just pop that one in there as well, and that in there. Good way. So for other people that aren't so keen on this sort of fake stuff, um, and you may want to go for 
you may want to go for uh, some, something that's a little bit more natural. There's all sorts of different uh, things you do. So, you know, simple veggie kebabs, um, really straightforward. Uh, you've got all sorts of different things on there. Nice and colorful, nice and vibrant, nice and bright. Uh, so I've just got some tomatoes and some courgette and some peppers on there. You can put onions, you can put mushrooms, you can put tofu on there, all sorts of different things. Uh, let it cook and then put your um, marinade on or marinate it beforehand. Either way, it's up to you. Um, you may want to do use mushrooms. Uh, now, these great big mushrooms here are brilliant. You just take the stalk out, chop it up, and then put uh, a nice filling in there. You can finish it on the grill. Uh, really uh, nice thing to do. Great as an alternative uh, to a burger. Um, other things that you may want to include some uh, sweet corn. Now, what I recommend is just to blanch this first before you pop it into the um, into the grill. But just add a little bit of oh, pop one in there. Uh, it'll it'll just add a, an extra bit of flavour by finishing it off, off on the grill. Now, I've got a couple of other things here as well. Um, asparagus, really lovely uh, to uh, just cook as they are. Um, take the uh, stalks off and then in they go. And it's just a really lovely natural uh, uh, food to nibble on uh, at your at your veggie barbecue. And of course, it's only you know this is the only part of it. You've got to think about the breads, the different things with the salads, uh, a nice cake afterwards, a bit of entertainment, uh, a bit of music, some bunting, all the other stuff that goes around. A few drinks that goes around uh, being you know having a social uh, experience. So let's just turn this. Uh, Burger over, and I can see how well. Yeah, looking lovely, wonderful. They really don't take uh, that long uh, to cook. Um, remember that most things were, were sort of pre-cooked um, to begin with. So that's just going to take another five minutes or so um, to finish. So just coming back to my uh, plate of sort of more. And naturally uh, products. Um, potatoes, baby new potatoes. You can wrap these in foil, add a little bit of garlic, splash of olive oil, maybe some uh, sprig of ro rosemary, wrap it in foil, put it into your coals, and it will just gently steam away. Uh, and then you end up with some lovely uh, sort of semi roasted, semi uh, steamed uh, uh, baby uh, new potatoes. Great uh, as, as a side dish. Uh, Sweet potatoes also uh, cook very quickly. Um, you can put those on whole, you can wrap them in foil, uh, or you could pre-bake these in the oven and then just finish them off as slices um, on your on your griddle. Either way, I've also got here hiding like I've also got an avocado. So when you're stacking up your your um, your veggie uh, bun with all the you know extra bits and whatnots, and um, then putting the uh, slices of avocado is just going to make it add that extra bit of texture. Uh, but also it's going to add some uh, lovely nutrition um, and uh, some calories as well. So if you're trying to increase the amount of calories, uh, then uh, then the avocado is going to uh, be something uh, that's uh, good to add in. Um, now, you've got savouries, but you can also put lots of sweet things in. So, of course, bananas work a treat on your... Um, on, your on your barbecue. You can just roast them straight in the... Um, the there we are. Let's stop that. There. there we go. And uh, you can roast them just straight in in their skins, or you could put some uh, you can serve them with vegan ice cream and syrup on the top, just some sugar, some 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 fruits, all sorts of uh, different things. Uh, and and they're, they're obviously they're, they're really tasty. So what I would do is I would think about uh, National Vegetarian Week, which is coming up. So the week after this, begin the tenth, and use that as a um, as a springboard for. Uh, Getting in touch with uh, all your residents and seeing if they'd like to do something, use it as a backdrop for, for an activity, some of the ones that I've suggested. But have a look at our website and you'll find lots and lots of uh, recipes on there um, uh, of, of things that you might want to uh, try with, 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 with your residents uh, and, and your staff too, you know, get everyone involved with this. But I'd also particularly encourage you to uh, book one of our uh, chefs uh, and they can do a, uh, a specific one-to-one um, -one, uh, training session uh, for, for your home or your uh, series of homes. Uh, so uh, do uh, have a think about that and, and then get in touch. We also provide lots of um, 
uh, specific training as well. So if you're on our accredited list, uh, then you get extra benefits for, for doing that. Um, and you can get a, 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 a training session for free, or uh, you can just go onto the list and then pay for uh, training uh, afterwards. But these, uh, these, these, these veggie barbecues really are a treat, but you've just got to make a little bit of effort uh, to make sure that you've got lots of a whole range of different foods uh, that everyone will enjoy. So let's bring this, uh, let's bring this together. So I've just sliced my uh, uh, bun ready to go, uh, and we can pop our little veggie burger on there. So this is that black bean burger. It really won't take that long to cook and hopefully you can see that it's, um, it's a nice uh, nice uh, size there and it also has got a nice uh, a nice texture, a little bit of brown on the top just to give that extra bit of flavour. So I mentioned earlier about the extra bits that you need to, to put on. So if I just move this one out of the way. I'm going to finish this, uh, this off uh, a little bit later. I'm not going to just ignore that. So let's finish off our little bun with our extra things, because this is the this is the uh, the extras that really will uh, make a difference uh, to your uh, veggie burger. There we go, got everything. Okay, so um, so you've got the bun, you've got the nice bread. So what we've got here, we've got a slice of tomato on there, um, a little bit of uh, lettuce, <clears throat> obviously. Uh, asking what your residents uh, would like to have, and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, gherkins. I'm going to go with that, and a little bit of uh, ketchup. I'm stacking this up quite high, aren't I? There we go. Uh, and finally, and this is what I wanted to show you, is that <clears throat> it, it's, it's these little touches that really will make a difference to make sure that the people that you care for, the people that you cater for, uh, feel fully included. And it's the little things like having vegan uh, mayonnaise. So, you know, this is the, the commercial brand you get in all the supermarkets. There's different sorts of brands uh, uh, around. Uh, um, this is um, um, one that's really, really, really good. Uh, Hellman's um, brand, there's lots of different ones that are, are vegan uh, these days. But by getting those, then it means that you can add it to... Um, Salads, uh, you can add it to your uh, burgers and things like that, and your marinades and all sorts. Um, and it just makes it life so much easier, um, and so that everyone can have uh, the same uh, sorts of food, uh, and, and no one is left out. So I would recommend uh, getting uh, some of that. So a nice dollop of mayonnaise on the top, like right? so. So there we have our wonderful uh, uh, veggie burger. I'm not going to bite this because I'm going to spill it down. <laughs> I might bite it. Uh, we have a lovely uh, black bean uh, burger, but there's lots of other recipes uh, on our website that you may want to uh, have a look at. So, National nice, nice Vegetarian Week, 10th of May to the 17th of May. Have a visit to um, Vegetarian for Life's um, website. We've got lots of recipe suggestions, and we've got information on training for, for your chefs, and, and, and we've also got uh, suggestions on uh, activities that you may want to have uh, throughout the week of National Vegetarian Week and beyond. So I hope you found this uh, a little bit uh, fun and entertaining. I'm going to uh, finish off uh, cooking these uh, and I'm going to uh, enjoy them uh, later. And so uh, from me, uh, I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.